This video is a, a recording of a lesson that I had with my friend Lee uh, with our coach Charles. So Charles is here, the guy with the long hair and the trousers on. Lee is at the back, at the left, so he's the guy with the, I mean we're both wearing white shirts and white caps, it's a little confusing, but he's the guy with the white sleeves. And then I'm on the right hand side at the back there with the black shorts. Um, Lee's, Lee's uh, 57 years old, like he's really, really strong. I think he must like lift weights or something because he, you know, he doesn't look that old and he certainly doesn't hit like he's 57 as well. He hits a ball really hard. Um, so we've been doing these lessons together with Charles, our coach, for a little while, I guess maybe a couple of months now. And it's been really good because it's given me practice of not only coaching with Charles, but also, you know, facing shots from Lee, who has like a very flat, powerful shot. So it's been really good practice for me. So yeah, we'll, we'll go through the session. I'm just going to talk through kind of what um, we're doing with Charles as we go through and what he's trying to teach us. So here we're just warming up. And we, when we're doing the warm ups now, what I'm trying to do is I'm really trying to hit through the ball. Because um, one of my bad habits is like, is not finishing the swing, so not properly following through. And whenever I do that, I lose power and I lose control and the ball normally flies out. So what I'm trying to do in these warm ups is just get myself into the, the rhythm of really following through and doing like the full stroke. Um, and Lee, I guess, is just doing the same, similar kind of thing here. So yeah, we're just warming up with Charles here. I'm trying to hit a few powerful backhands just to kind of get the, the timing in for the backhands. And this exercise, what we're doing is Charles is teaching us how to like approach, get to the net, and then volley. So we're doing like a couple of shots from the baseline, like you'll see here, we're like one shot from the baseline, and then another one from the baseline, and then the idea is it's gonna give us a shorter ball, and then I've gotta try and come in on that one. So you can see me coming into the net there, and then just practicing some volleys. And again, same drill here. I'm just trying to get my feet moving, get into the right position to hit the ball. So I've noticed I'm getting a lot more power on the ball when I'm turning my whole body. Like what I used to do is I, I, I really hit with just my arm. So I'd just be swinging my arm um, and it wasn't very powerful. Whereas now I'm, I'm kind of leading with my left shoulder and then bringing my hips through and that just rotates my whole body, as you can see there. And it's just much more powerful that way. And it's easier to generate that power as well. It's not as uh, exhausting. And this drill, what we're doing here is we're, we're practicing some doubles. Um, so one person is starting at the baseline, the other person starts at the net and they have to hit a volley and then cross over to the other side of the net. So you can see I'm at the net here, so Lee's hitting that from the baseline. And then Charles is giving me a little volley, I have to go to the other side. And then Lee has to come in from the baseline, kind of cross over. So we're trying to get some practice, not just the volleying, but also the positioning when you're playing as doubles. And it's really difficult, because especially if you're the person at the net, um, because you can't see what's going on behind you, so you don't know where that other person is. So it's, it's quite tricky. Um, so what he's trying to do, Charles is trying to teach us here to cover most of the core. Um, so here you'll see we keep standing quite far apart at the net, and then in a later exercise, what he's telling us to do is to just move as a unit. So if we're being pushed out to one side, then both of us should move towards that side, so one's on the side and one's covering the middle. Whereas here you can still see we're both just standing there on like opposite sides of the net and we're not really moving. Um, so a little practice of an overhead there for Lee. But again, so I'm starting on the baseline here, it's a nice shot there. <laughs> oh, nearly hit Charles on that one. <laughs> so he's, uh, he's quite good at getting out of the way, luckily. But yeah, so I'm coming into the net there. And then that's a nice shot from Charles. But what he's again telling us to do is to like move together as a unit here to start covering the whole thing. Because what we're doing is we're leaving the middle of the court wide open there. So if this if we were playing for real, you know, Charles would just hit that straight down the middle of the court and go between us. 
um, got hold of that overhead nicely there. So here we're crossing over again, I'm at the baseline coming in and we're trying to move as a unit and you can see it a little bit better here. Um, you see us, we're standing a little bit closer and then we've gone farther apart again which is bad. But yeah again look we're nice and close there and what we should be doing is moving as a unit so if Charles is pushing us out one side we both move together. Uh, I kept that one because I hit that one really sweet and Lee wasn't expecting it. So this drill is, is just a, a little bit of a baseline rally between me and Lee and then he's going to come in to the net. So he's going to do a slice and then come in. So I think it's here, yes. He's going to slice and come into the net and then I'm just hitting it to him and Charles and he's just volleying it. And it's just some volley practice for him. And then we're going to do it again, so he's going to have a little baseline rally with me. Yeah, he hit that one really hard actually there. It surprised me how quick it came off the ground. And then he's in at the net and we're just going to give him some volley practice. You know, trying to hit it at different angles to him. And so yeah, another one with Lee at the baseline, so a quick baseline rally. And then he's coming in. And he's going to start volleying. So we're practicing a lot of volleys because we're going to start playing doubles and uh, playing doubles you end up volleying a lot you know one of the goals is to get to the net as a pair and like really control the, the point so we've got to get better at movement and knowing how each other moves and also just the technique of volleying. So there's my backhand slice coming in and then I volleyed here and I've hit that one really sweet in the middle of the racket accidentally and it nearly uh, knocked Lee out. But yeah, so I've messed up the backhand slice there. So I'm slicing and coming in, and then I'm gonna just practice some volleys. And just kind of trying to get my reactions a bit quicker. So that's a good shot from me there. It gets a little bit shaky here, because I've got the, I'm filming this with my iPhone and it's attached to, to the fence. Um, so when there's a ball that's hit the fence, it gets a bit wobbly afterwards, it's unfortunate, but I haven't found a better way of doing it yet. So Lee hits a really nice shot there, like that's six, almost 60 miles an hour, and it just doesn't look like that. When you're facing it, it really comes at you hard when it, when it bounces off the surface, it really skids through. So he doesn't have that much top speed, so it's like quite flat and powerful, it's tricky, um, but really good practice. So like, look, his reactions here from Lee are so good. He's really quick. Good shot from Lee there. His volleying is really good. So now we swapped over and I'm going to have a little baseline rally with Lee. I've hit that one too hard. Too far, sorry. Um, now I'm going to try and come in, so slice. Hit a nice shot there, but oh, I'm just trying to survive here. There's no just trying to get it back basically because they're hitting at me from such close range. I'm trying to, you know, get better with the reactions. And now we're both going to try that same drill as from before, but try and come in together to the net and then move as a unit. So we're both coming in here, we're trying to stay a bit closer together. So you can see Lee covering the center now. And now when Charles starts to move us wide, we should start moving together as a unit, I mean in theory. We both look pretty stationary at the moment. I only set up a bit of a, an overhead for me there. Of course it feels good to catch those ones. Um, So here, what Charles is saying is, if if there's a, a if if the person at the net, like on their side of the net, if they get lobbed, then the other person should run around to get that lob um, because it's easier for them to get to it. So just learning that, I didn't know that. I always just assumed it was if it went over your head, you have to go and get it. But actually, it's easier for the other person. 
Um, so here you can see we're staying a bit closer together, starting to work a little bit better as a unit at the net, still a bit far apart. And then there's an overhead or a lob for Lee, so he's gone to get that one and just got it back. Now here we've got all completely confused, we're both on the same side of the net there. So you can see that it's, like, it's really difficult, because in that situation I didn't even know where Lee was. I'm trying to you know, hit it at Charles a bit harder, you see how easy he handles everything. Charles is like, such a good player. You'll see in other videos how good he is, but he makes you know, these volleys look so simple when we're hitting it at him quite hard. <laughs> and it's just so easy for him. And here I've got no idea what I'm supposed to do, so I just bend over basically and hope for the best. And uh, yeah, it's not the best strategy. I should be moving to the side there to cover the other side of the court, but I didn't know that. Um, so again here, we're both coming in, trying to stay close to the unit, so he's pushed us to one side. And then look, I'm moving over to go with Lee there, so that was much better. Um, let me just show that bit again, because that was like at actually what we're supposed to do. See here, I move over with Lee there, and then this way. So we're both covering the court better. This one, I've called it, I've gone around behind him. And I've hit that one really sweet. Um, yeah, so I even got a clap from Charles for that one, which makes me very happy. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that was fun. But, but we're getting slowly getting better at the movement and knowing you know, where we need to be when we're playing together as doubles. Um, see, we're much closer together there, so there's not that big gaping gap down the, the middle of the court, which makes it harder for Charles to kind of get past us. Another overhead. Hit quite well. just trying to get into the net, find an opportunity. And one thing that I've learned as well is that you have to move into the net together. You know, if, there's a, if you've kind of pushed the opponent back and it's an opportunity to get to the net, then you both go in um, when you're playing doubles. So you both cover the net together, which is something that I didn't know uh, until recently. And it, it makes sense, you know, if, if they're on the defensive, your opponent's on the defensive, you both move up to the net and cover the whole of the net. And then, you, you know, you're in a much more better position to win the point. So here we're just you know, practicing some volleys. And uh, you can see that, oh, managed to get that one back somehow. And then we've got confused about who's, whose shot is it. And Charles said that what we, what we should tend to default to, like that there, when it's in the middle of us, whoever's on the forehand should take charge and, and hit the shot. Because it's normally an easier shot on the forehand than it is on the backhand. Some nice light volleys here. Uh, an overhead for Lee. Oh, didn't catch that one on camera. Oh no, there it is. And then a nice overhead. And that's it. So that was the um, all the footage from that session. And in general, like really happy with the improvement. And it's been really fun to learn how to play doubles. You know, I've just taken up tennis fairly recently, or taken it up again, I should say, fairly recently. And I've only really played singles points. Um, it's like, yeah, just, just recently started playing some doubles. And like, I think Lee and I are going to try and play doubles against some other people. So it's really good fun to practice, you know, how to be in the right position and understanding each other's game a bit better. Um, so that when we do actually come and play against someone, hopefully we'll be better practiced than they will. Um, so yeah, it's been a really good session and um, yeah, a really fun one.